it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're just going to be Today we're just going to be looking at this bag of things I got from We have here, um, I'm from Nashville originally, but I kind of live a little out from Nashville But we have a bookstore, record store, and they recently have like started to really get a lot of toys um they have a lot of pops they have a lot of stuff like that it's called mckay's um but i got so many random things that i didn't need my son also was pulling toys out i just put them all in this bag for now and then i have one item which is my favorite which i'll share with you at the end um so i'm gonna I'll go ahead and get something so i got some beanie babies um i got this little guy he was four dollars i don't know if that's really expensive but his name is patty i feel like this should have been more like 99 cents but at that store you can actually turn in your credit and like you can trade things in and get store credit so i had movies dvds i no longer wanted so i got him i got this mouse um he was only two dollars what's his name chocolate the moose i just thought he was cute um i see gala get lots of beanie babies so it makes me want beanie babies um do i have any more i don't think i got any more beanie babies No, that's all the Beanie Babies. I did get this guy who is a knockoff Beanie Baby. And the thing about this is, is when I was a kid, they had these sorts of Beanie Babies at the dollar store. I don't know the like date on this or anything, but it reminds me of this one. Um, and you could get like these little knockoff Beanie Babies there and I really liked them. So I'm glad I had this one. As a kid, I actually had a lion and an elephant. I had the elephant for a long time, but the lion I actually left um, at the racetrack as a kid. And I always missed him, so I'm really happy to have this duck, even though he's a fakie. Um, and then my son got a couple of funny stuffed animals. So he got this one, which I have no idea. It says Adventure Planet. It's just like a little sloth, stuffy, I'm not really sure. Um, he does have like Velcro, he was like six bucks. And this one is so funny. So it's this guy, and he has a little mask on, um, and you actually take his hands, like his arms stretch, and you can like shoot him. I don't think he's vintage, I think he's newer. But he makes like a little -ha -ha sound when you shoot him across the room. Um, I think that he's super funny and he's super cute. Like I love his face so much and my son likes him too. And then the rest of the stuff is dolls, like Barbies. Barbies. So let's start with the fakies. So I got this fakie. Um I didn't know, like, I know nothing about Barbies, but when I saw these, for some reason, I was like, oh, like, those are probably cool, those are probably old, so if you know anything about these fakies, let me know, um, if there's any information, this one says it's by, I think it's S-I-M-B-A, so she just has this little dress on, a little necklace, um, these were like bag dolls for a couple of dollars, so I got her. I got this one, and she's by Toy Max, it says. Looks like she has some mix, mismatched Barbie shoes. It's her face. I think she's cute. Um... Then we have um, I think 
think she's actually a Barbie. I feel like it says she's from Mattel. She has a really pretty face and that's why I got her. But I didn't notice that she's really, really dirty. Um, and she's like a little chewed as well. So maybe that was a mistake. Guys, I know, like I said, I don't know a lot about Barbie, so. But I did think she had a really pretty face. Which I hear about people taking heads off, so like, there's potential. I also got this Barbie. She has like a little pearl necklace on. This little outfit and some shoes. I thought her hair was pretty. I need some work. Barbie cleaning tips. Let me know if you got them. But yeah, I really like her face. I think she's really cute. And then my favorite Barbie that I got is this one. She's so pretty. Um, like she has these like twinkly eyes um, and she like, turns this way. I'm pretty sure that she is the Aurora um, like sparkle eyes Barbie or something like that. Um, her face is just so unique though. Like she's so pretty. Um, but she is my favorite Barbie item that I actually got. And then the last thing, probably the best thing that I found there, was this set. Which is the Mini Bees gift set. And it has like all the Barbies throughout history. And it tells like a little bit about them on the back. What I would love to do with this is to try to find... All of the big Barbies to go with these little ones because I think that would be so cute and I think that would be a really cool display as well but we have the original teenage fashion model Barbie bubble cut Barbie twist and turn Barbie Malibu Barbie superstar Barbie Barbie and the Rockers and I paid I think $25 for this but I see it going for like 40 from like 40 to 75 so I thought that was a really good deal I actually looked it up on eBay there was another Barbie who I should have gotten she was a reproduction of the 1959 one but she was wearing a wedding dress and I was like oh she's only $25 and she's $25 online so I can just order her that way but now I wish I would have just gotten her instead of like some of these fakies that I got but yeah, that's all that I got from my trip to McKay's. Um, I think it would be really fun to take my camera there sometime and film because it is really, really cool. Um, so if you'd like me to do that, I can. Um, yeah, just let me know. So let me know what your favorite thing that I got out of my bag of random stuff. Um, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye!